Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is Guest Host Friday, and our guest host, uh, he is the brewmaster at the world-famous Brooklyn Brewing. He's the author of The Brewmaster's Table. He's the editor-in-chief uh, to the Oxford Companion for Beer. And he's the founder and chair of the Michael James Jackson Foundation for Brewing and Distilling. Please welcome the one and only, Garrett Oliver. Hey there. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. I'm Garrett Oliver, your guest host, standing in for Barry, and today we have from Williams's Sandwich Book of 1974, The Lamb Witch. That's quite a claim. Let's see if they can uphold it. There's no roasted lamb at the deli counter these days, so I'm gonna have to cook this bad boy. All right, let's get this bad boy. Out of the oven. Looking pretty good. Okay, so this recipe is calling for half an onion. That's a lot of onion. It also wants a half a tomato, okay, maybe, and 1.2 cucumbers. Now, that's a lot of cucumber. I'm gonna decide that the size of the cucumber back then, they meant, is basically the size of a dill pickle. We're gonna do some slices, but one and a half, I don't think so. So, this recipe calls for two slices of cracked wheat buttered bread, four ounces of sliced lamb roast, a half a sliced onion, a half a sliced tomato, 1.2 sliced cucumber, and plain yogurt. Now, aside from beer and books, I would say that I'm best known as the king of leftovers. And I'm going to assume that this is a leftovers recipe. But unless you have somebody to slice your lamb for you, you're gonna have to do this yourself. It says spread bread with yogurt. It does not say how much, so I've decided it's this much. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna stack all this stuff on top of our bread and then we'll be good to go. Our lamb is looking beautiful and pink. Now our onions on top and a little bit of seasoned salt. Right, looks like our sandwich is ready for prime time. All right, let's give this Williams Lambwich from 1974, 50 years ago, mm, ago. It's good. I could have salted it a little bit more, but it's good. Dispensed as written, I'm gonna give this sandwich a solid seven, which is pretty high, though I do think I can plus it up a little. Okay, two plus ups for our sandwich today. One, harissa, which is a Tunisian chili, garlic, and spice paste. It is not a sauce. Uh, it is from Tunisia. Some people say it's from Morocco. Some people say other places. It's from Tunisia, okay? Don't at me. Also, wild mountain cumin. The best you can get, beautiful on almost everything, lamb, spices, chilies, you know it's gonna work. All right, let's get this sandwich plussed up with smoked harissa and wild mountain cumin a go. There it is, this is what I'm looking for. I'm gonna say 8.5 now. It all comes together, a little bit more salt added by the harissa, all of our stuff in balance, the gamies to the lamb, this is now a very, very nice sandwich. I'm gonna eat the rest of this. Thanks for watching. <laughs>